What is going on, dudes? My name is Luke, and welcome back to our Pokemon Secret Girl Egg Lock. In the last episode, uh, we ended up challenging Whitney and luckily defeating her. I, we didn't have a ton of trouble. Yeah, we added a new member, and our new friend evolves. And I just realized the rare candies are in 989 rather than 999. It was still infinite, it's just weird. Anyway, um, that's pretty much it. I went and I leveled up all the Pokemon that we hatched in the last episode, so all those guys are good. Uh, we're going to lead out with Hinata, uh, just because, and we're going to continue on here. So we've got a couple trainers up north here we can battle. Uh, we can, we're going to be meeting, what's his name? Nope, stop. Uh, we're we're going to be meeting Bill, so we'll be able to get another encounter in the Eevees. So, or in, not the Eevees, the Eevee. So that'll be pretty cool. Uh, we'll brick break you, and we'll just headbutt you, because I probably won't need more than that. And, of course, you paralyzed me. Okay, is that all? Thanks. Paralyzing my frickin' Kangaskhan, man. No respect. I don't have a Cherry Berry, either, and I don't really want to use a full heal on it for that. So, we'll leave her out front, because she's the lowest level, and we'll just have to heal up equity because we're nearly there. I'll swap her out if I have to. So, we should be okay, though. We'll fake you out, and then I'll go for the Aerial Ace and Gloom. Well, that did a lot to that Weepin' Bell. Holy cow. Um, I was thinking about Earthquaking, but that's not gonna be very helpful. So let us leave... No, we're gonna go Brick Break. Brick Break will do more. Warbeam Rinka, that's good. Okay, you sent out a Sturmy here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna need to get, what's his name, out of there. Or, yeah, he not out of there, because he not is in a bad position right now. Well, I think we can go into Alicia. Alicia's good. Hey, yeah, crit Aurora Beam. Thank ya. Alright, let's swap you out here. I, I think we can bring in Jad for you. And I'm gonna heal you up, because you got crit. And I want to keep you. Well, I healed up the wrong Pokemon. Oh my no! Wow. What a sickening way to lose that Pokemon. That fucking sucks. I clicked the wrong Pokemon. I wasn't even thinking about it. I thought it would be up front. Damn it! That sucks. That re that's awful. Fuck you guys. I don't care if you think I'm strong. I just you freaking killed my my Misdreavus. <sighs> Hi Bill. We're gonna get another encounter because I don't really care what he says. You're gonna talk about Lynette and whatnot, but I need we'll get the Eevee from you. I'm actually legitimately upset about that. Cause that freaking sucks. She would have been just fine. God, I'm so sorry. Of all the Pokemon we've lost so far, being five of them, that's definitely the worst one. You were so good! Uh, you were one of the few surviving members after freaking Silver. Oh my gosh, that's that really sucks. So now we need to add a new Pokemon to the team. But the question is, who do we add? Because we need a special attacker. Because on the team we have one special attacker and four physical attackers. I mean, at this point I'm kind of looking at... Perdra? Because we've got a whole bunch of adamants. Ooh, I'd actually love to use Caden. I love to use the Nine Tails. You're really weak to fire, so actually having you would be great. You have four Warm too, which is interesting. You also have Energy Ball, so that would make up for it. All right, I think we're gonna add Caden. I love Vulpix so much, and it's a good thing to add to the team. I mean, I'd love to add another female Pokemon, so maybe is this is Perdra female? No, it's male, so I don't feel bad. Man. That's act that's very disheartening. That sucks so much. We don't have any good other real special attackers. I mean we have Fione, but I don't want to use a Fione. Fione, Fione. It's just not that great of a Pokemon. You never see it because it's not a, a great Pokemon. So I think we'll just we'll stick with Caden here. I think it's the best situation for us. Dang it, do I have something that I could give You know we'll give the Shell Bell here to Jad, and I'll take the charcoal and give that to Caden. Actually, for now, I think I'm going to give him the XP share anyway. I didn't realize Sprinkles didn't have an item either. Or we could switch train him. 
I think we'll do that and we'll give him the lucky egg. Alright, what do you have to say, little buddy? Same thing Alicia did. Oh no! I mean, Alicia has definitely been the worst loss so far. I'm gonna go so pretty the way the insignia Pokemon are both marbles. Sure. Like a rage, the appearance of Red Gyarados. Smell conspiracy, I know it. But see, do I have anything decent I could actually teach you? Because I don't know if I really have much to teach you. I mean, you really don't need it anyway. Who can learn Dig? Because I should give Dig to somebody, you think? I could teach you to Jad, but I don't really want to. That's the thing, is I have two Dig teams, but I don't really want to teach it to anybody. I'm gonna rehearse the dance theater. Care to join me? Well, I can't actually do any dancing here. We can get Surf here, though. Hey! Hey! Stop dancing, this is a serious dance. Uh, help me, uh, show me something like a hula dance. You must push us the request on me. Huh, you tell me you don't expect the customer wants. Wow, so you had dance. Show you a great one. <laughs> I don't understand what kind of customer you would be and what kind of dancer you expect her to be. I think you're in the wrong place, buddy. <laughs> Who are you? Did it get in my way? I do. I have a new Vulpix at the helm. Well, for this battle, I do for the helm. Okay, let's see, do you have... What level are you? 25. I don't... I kind of wish Caden had... Good job, Caden. Proud of you for that. That is super helpful. Let's go into Saber. You're gonna sludge, and that doesn't affect me. Sweet. Alright, let's go with the Choice Banner Metal Claw. You should just be gone. With Technician. Just... Goodbye. Actually, does Technician work like it does in 6th Gen, where it powers up base 60 type moves? Or, not base 60 type, but base 60 power moves. Alright, next up is a Golbat. So let's go back into Caden here, and we'll switch into Rinka, I think. I, I, wasn't, I wasn't paying attention to what she was forewarned to. Actually, we're going to Sprinkles. Sprinkles can do it. You're gonna confuse me. You suck. Thunderbolt, and just one shot. Straight up. Sprinkles you to bomb. Caden grew to level 19. I don't remember what level learns Flamethrower in this game. Looks like I lost. Yes, you did. Scrub Lord. I know you look like a villain. I have an important mission. They find I was wasting time. We can start over. I better leave now. Must have been so okay. I'm correct. That was indeed an accident. Kind and strong. Good at raising Pokemon as well. That po uh, person does not know what to look for in people. Oh, that was just me talking to myself. Never mind. Oh, you were so courageous for your age. Just excited to see what you have. This nobody should take it. We can serve. I don't think anyone can learn it. Maybe Rinka. Let's serve its moveless Pokemon swim across water with ease! Okay. Let's see if anyone can learn it, because I mean, Rinka would be the only possible one in IMO. And she can indeed learn it. That's not bad. I may teach it to her. I don't need it for now, but it could be interesting. It's supposed to be the hero, so much for getting closer. Come on, girl. I think he says something about, like, a stomach ache is the reason he can't do it. When you talk to him before you actually go into the command. Before you talk to the Team Rocket Grunt. I don't know. Just kind of interesting. All right, I'm gonna go back to Ecritique. God dang it! Not Ecritique, the Golden Rod. Oh, you can find Ariados here. Um, let's see if I can take you up with the Heat Wave. Shadow Sneak. And I do. One shot. Get obliterated. I'm gonna heal up again. I'm gonna run back to Golden Rod and pick up the. I hope actually. I uh, I mean the Eevee. Uh, did you get? Did she give me a Firestone? Yes. Okay. So whenever I want to. <sighs> I can evolve our dear Vulpix. I'm gonna pick up these Apricorns, because why not? There's one more trainer down here uh, in the actual place where I caught my Pokemon that I did not fight in the last episode. Still, I'm so freaking so mad about losing Alicia. That was completely on accident. I was not paying attention. Oh, you did come with Extrasensory. You missed the Hypnosis, and this should probably one shot. Yep. Gangrus level 20. Next up is a Drowsy. Let's try Heat Wave. I did nothing. Alright, that's fine. I'll just swap out. Uh, where is... Oh, why did I send in Hinata? Okay, it's all good. Goodbye. No match. Hinata the bomb. Kenya's turned very hard to keep up with you. You poor thing, you're all tired now. We're gonna be at a, at a PC here in a minute. So, I'll be able to just deposit you, and we'd be good. That's the part I like. Up and down the piano. Caden is happily skipping about. Well, I'm glad you're happy, little buddy. Yeah, we can battle you now because it's nighttime. Angel lurks in the night. That's great. Okay, uh, I can't, I literally cannot touch you. So we're gonna swap. 
Who do we go into? Let's go into Rinka. Rinka can do this. Earthquake. Goodbye. Next up is a Mighty Yenna. Alright, we're going to Caden. Fire Fang. So that's your strongest move. That's not even a big deal. I can energy ball you. Because I wish I, I kind of wish it was a part of me that wishes I Oh my goodness. <sighs> I'm risking too much, bro. I was about to go into Saber, but that's not a smart idea in the slightest. We'll go into Sprinkles. Sprinkles can handle both. Thought out first turn. Okay, I didn't even mean to use Thunder Wave. In prison, nah. I don't remember if you can actually fish in Ecritique City. We'll get an encounter there if we can. Um, but yeah. Anyway, we're gonna go over here and talk to Bill. Because Bill is gonna give us a level some Eevee. Is it, is it actually level 5? Or is it, dang it, or is it level 20 like I think it was in the originals? I would just do, oh, it's a cast form. Okay, doesn't bother me either way because I'm not keeping it. I guess that makes sense because we got the Eevee from Cynthia. It's crazy just how many backups we already have. We have like, we're not even to the 4th gym and we already have three and a half rows of Pokemon to use. Okay, so we got a cast form. Now I wonder what... No, you don't get a nickname. I received... They give them out in the dozen. Probably they created them, didn't they? Anyway, it's a level 25 cast form. What are you holding? Mystic Water, nice. All right, so I will take that Mystic Water from you because that's a very nice item to have. So I think we'll just exchange it right now because we have the opportunity to. And I can uh, move around those eggs in a minute. I clicked on the wrong thing. 27 is the first one we get. So we'll do number 27, Landwalker with the Leftovers. That could be a very decent name for whatever the Pokemon is, if I don't have a better name for it, because I think I've run basically out of comments, at least on these episodes, to go with. So pretty cool stuff. And what do you think Landwalker is going to be? No, stop. Just stop. Okay. <laughs> what are you going to be, Landwalker? My guess is going to be Turtwig. First guess. I swear that I did not see over my hand, I just thought immediately, Torterra. So, we have Landwalker the Turtwig, I will go with the name, because I like the name. I normally name mine Mr. Twigs, but we'll go with Landwalker, and it just fits too. Sweet! Let's check out our little buddy here, he came with leftovers, so that's really nice. Alright, you have an Adamant Nature with Sea Bomb, Body Slam, Sand Tomb, and Superpower, so that's a very nice move set. Uh, we get you Earthquake, and you're set for the rest of the game. Nice! And I think it learns it upon leveling up to uh, a Torterra. You know what? Just because we're here right now, I'm actually level the dude up. You learn Curse this early on. Holy cow. Interesting, I think. I forgot you above a level 18. But I love Grottle. I love its design, and it's just such a dope Pokemon. This is one of the first plushes I really ever had. I had a massive Pikachu, like one of those super fat Pikachu. Had that forever. My mom threw it away, I'm pretty sure. And then I had a Grottle for a long time. It was so awesome, in all honesty. And I, my mom threw that away too, probably. There's no respect for my things. That's just the way it is. Okay, anyways, Landwalker here will be a very decent Pokemon when we get the chance to use you. With Shell Armor. That's so dope. I like on our team how we only have one common typing being Steel. I do like that. I didn't like how we had three fighting... Actually, that's not... We, we have a common typing, typing and fighting. So if I drop Lucario and added a different Pokemon, we'd have an entirely unique typing team. But for now, we don't. Anyways, I like the, the Pokemon that we have right now, and I don't really want to switch them out. So... That's the, that's the main issue with me doing these kind of Nuzlocks. Is I've gotten so many good Pokemon because this is... Because in Egglock, people always put... Like, put a lot of great Pokemon in there. We may go into the tower over here, the burn tower, and do what we need to. Don't you give me something like I do a quiz and you give me something? Hmm. What makes a Pokemon move for a Greek Mountain Trick Room? 
Trick Room, that's what you give me. I'm never gonna use Trick Room, so I'm just gonna sell it. It's powerful meal mood and only lasts for five turns. It's decent competitive play, but I know I'm never gonna use it in this kind of in this kind of play there. Or I'll never use it in competitive play, because I just don't really like slow teams. Fantina! Well, it's nice to see you here, but what the hell are you doing here? Alright, let's get rid of that, because I don't need that. If, oh, you must be a trainer, no? I've come for sinner. This season, time is two years. Enfant, I will explore. Be the first. That was really bad. Enfant, I will explore. But you're the first trainer I've met. Say to myself, I shall give you a gift, and so we will. 61. Is that Will O Wisp? Because I know it's not Shadow Ball. Will O Wisp is a spooky move. Ghost move, no. You find many ghost Pokemon learn this technique. Speaking of which, my only one just freaking died! I'm so mad. No, Casper actually wanted to make it an Umbreon. That was the whole thing, because I've always liked Umbreon, but... My first encounter with Umbreon, it was completely on accident. It took my Eevee to level 40 to evolve with happiness. It was really weird. It was probably something I did wrong. Maybe I rare -hand my, like cheated and rare handed it up or something. Okay, so let's just buy... Can I buy more 4 heals? I can't buy more 4 heals. So I'll go back to Goldenrod probably in between episodes and buy full heals um because i don't really want to buy any of the other stuff but we can get an encounter here didn't i register it yeah because i don't like using the bike much because it's too much moving that's why i have the auto run turned off in this game the exclamation point came above vulpix head why does that happen it's the magic carpet is expected to level 20 hot dang Loaded you to flail. Um, I'll put. Uh, good job, Caden. You hit the. You hit. I'm gonna go for extrasensory because extrasensory shouldn't kill. Theoretically, yes. Okay. Um, let's just go for a pokeball. Sweet. Nope. You don't get no name. I'm literally buying that one pokeball I just used. Okay, we have. We can get another encounter here in the burn tower, so I think that I'll do that. Um, right now because I might as well just get some encounters while I'm running around here. Because I'm trying not... Hot damn, that's a good move. Okay, so let's teach you... Let's teach someone Shadow Claw. Who can learn it? So Jad can, and Rika can. That makes sense. Uh, let's see. It's surprisingly similar. I want to check the base power on Crunch. 70 power here, but it has a high crit ratio. I don't know. For now, I don't need it. Because Crunch and Shadow Claw hit the same things. Except Crunch, nothing is immune to Crunch. While normal types are immune to Shadow Claw. It's a nice Pokemon you walk with. They make you feel uplifted, don't they? It was double light, so to speak. Speaking of light, I heard something about the lighthouse. We want to serve the beacon as full and Sounds like it's in trouble. Oh man, I know. I collect coupon when you mind Junior you want to trade it for Smoochum? Nah, I'm sorry. Aw, sugar! This happened one day was when the sky suddenly turned black. A giant flying type Pokemon is blocking out the sun. I didn't know it was a flying type. Just because it was a bird doesn't mean it's a flying type. <laughs> wonder what that Pokemon was. It's like a bird and a dragon. It's a Lugia. Is really Pokemon that big? If it exists, it must be powerful. Lugia's like, what, 17 feet long or something like that? Imagine that's right. That'd be hilarious. If we go west from the city, reach a port called Lullabine City. Pokemon Lure Surf, you can go for the ocean. Yeah, I have Surf. I just can't use it yet because I have to be here. I can see you have two towers, one in the east and one in the west. And the one in the east, the west burned down. I'm gonna go just rehearsing their dances. Yes. But only one is there right now, so they are not rehearsing nothing. Can I go this way? Because I know, like, you're allowed to go over this way before you, uh, challenge Morty in the normal games. So I just wanted to check. Um, yeah, because you're able to go to Mahogany Town a lot earlier than you might think it being this, having the seventh gym. Anyways, we're here in the Burn Tower. I like that little Raticate up in the corner there. So let's go to our encounter here. Our encounter for the Burn Tower is going to be... It's a Rattata. You get Sucker Punch. Alright, I'm not even sure you could live one attack. Alright, that works. Nope, you don't get no name. You're... Oh yeah, it's Yuzine. I don't remember this. Scrapped, and my name is Yuzine. I'm a trail Pokemon named Suicune. You are fucking glad to meet you. I will miss a Suicune if you thought came to look. Take a look at the basement through the home floor. It's Suicune down there. Go out and see that no run away in no time. And I've tried many times. And why do they keep coming back if they know you're going to scare them off? Dude, I'm Morty. I'm Ecredix's gym leader. 
This is my friend Eugene is here on the train of Suicune. I decided to investigate the burn tower. I was gonna say, isn't using just a, like an anagram? Is that what it is? Or you just spell things wrong, but there's no C in using. Then yeah, investigate. You can erect. Blur. Accuracy gives a legend about these accurate the Pokemon. Suicune, Entei, and Raikou. It's the gym leader Accuracy. I must have a proper understanding of it. Sure. Whatever you say. I was thinking about it. Is. Are the. Is Ecritique the combination of those three Pokemon's names? I was just thinking about it for some reason. No, there's no A in any of them. That's you. You must be able to catch legendary Pokemon and make yourself look strong. That's only a dream. See legendary Pokemon see a trainer like me who's sworn to become the strongest trainer. Battle with Team Rock Grunts is just right for you. Well, considering I beat all the Grunts and you lost to them. Okay, anyway. The bass in this song is always good. Forewarn alerted me to Night Sea. That's, a, that's the strongest move. That's what Forewarn does. Um, so yeah. Sprinkles, get in here! You're gonna Thunderbolt this guy. Ow! Assurance. Well, no, that I did the same mount. Alright, goodbye. King grows some XP, get some blah blah blah. Next up is Oh, oh dude. I don't even know what that was. That was not normal. Um. I don't think it's a fire type move. I think I can go into Jad or Saber. That is the issue, isn't it? I didn't mean to go go for hypnosis. Okay, you hit yourself, so you're sw you're getting swapped out. I'm gonna swim. Oh yeah, that's I forgot. I resist that in this generation. Can you stop, Jad? Thank you. Goodbye. Shovel. Next up is the Queen Lava. Queen Lava. It's not even close to what it sounds like. Alright, rank it, go. You can rock tomb and earthquake. Mm. We're just gonna earthquake you then. I could have faked you out. And goodbye. Simple enough. Next up is a horsey. I'm sorry I'm speeding through it. I'm trying not to. It's just like a habit of mine whenever I have that opportunity. Alright, let's go into Hinata. Bull beam. That doesn't do that much. Alright, Leaf Blade should just obliterate you. Sorry, buddy. Not sorry. King goes XP. Yep, yeah, yep. Next up is Kadabra. Kadabra. Um, let's go back into Caden. King. Out of desperation, weak people sometimes do okay. At okay, you can say whatever you want, buddy. You're just getting obliterated by me. So it's like you can talk as much shit as you want, and that was a crit too. All right, Night Slash. Goodbye. Just good bye. Ain't no chance you live in that. Save a girl's level 27, our big rag bugton. Yeah, I'm not sorry about that. I, I named the last episode that. I'm not sorry about that. They find another weakling. It's just too much playing around. Uh huh. And that's why I beat you, huh? <coughs> Whatever. You will never be the kitchen legendary Pokemon anyway. Says you. Loser. Ha, got him. <laughs> so I was thinking about it. Oh my gosh, that was a voice crack and a half. I want to give the leftovers to somebody. Um, I'm gonna give them the sprinkles because I think that's better than the quick claw. Because sprinkles isn't that slow. Like, there's a lot of the music in this game that I actually like sped up. No worry, we're fine, but isn't too better? Fire. Okay. Damn it! I knew that was gonna happen. I should have been paying attention to her for a warn. That's two in the same episode, and one replaced the other. Son of a gun. I can't even touch you. Oh my god, that sucks. That actually, that sucks so much. I'm so mad. Get out of here. Sprinkles levels up. Uh, Kalava will stand. My girl's level 27. Get dick. Freaking kill my Vulpix. An antidote. That's exactly what I need. I need something to mend my broken heart. Why did I fight this dude? Should have saved him. To die. Slowpoke. Headbutt. Charmeleon. Get EQ'd. No one. 
I just Rink is on a rampage. She's ups just as upset as I am. Man, that really that really sucks. I was talking yesterday. I'm like I I after I recorded. Actually, I thinking about it, the last episode was recorded yesterday, so it's kind of funny how I've actually recorded them back to back, you know, and back to back days, I should say. But how I just kind of wish something would crit me and just take me out, but. Uh, well, I actually wanted he not to attack that thing and get leveled up, but whatever. What sucks even more is I love Vulpix and Ninetales so much. I guess, I mean, uh, I did use Okami in the last Pokemon playthrough that we did, which was the Moon Wonder Wedlock, so, I mean, I guess you could say it's okay. I mean, your defense was literally shit anyway because he had a lonely nature, but... We'll put you in the death box. That sucks. That really sucks. Okay. Um, because obviously we can get an encounter west here and before Olivine City. I'm debating what I want to do team-wise. If I just want to add the Perdra. Because I want a special attacker. Because we have so many physical attackers. And that's kind of why I want a physical attacker to just get defeated. So I am forced to switch it out. But obviously I don't want that either. Because, you know, I don't want to lose a Pokemon. That's the problem. With me and Pokemon. War. War never changes. Okay, anyway. For now, I'll bring this Perdra. You're gonna get some retribution. After being killed off the first time. Mainly so I just don't put my Perdra in over its head. And just let it die again. Can we go into the bell tower yet? I wanna see if we can. Well, actually, no. We have to get the gym badge. After we get the gym badge, I wanna see if we can actually go inside the tower. Cause I'd like to get an, tower, an encounter in the bell tower if I can. Just shut it. See ya, boys. I love all the legendary beasts. I think Raikou's still my favorite, though. You see it? Three of my spots are blood right in front of my eyes. It takes three of almost ten years. Well, never been this close. I'm all choked up. I was pretty much sweet and took notice of your presence. I could take those near Pokemon since they come only when people recognize their talents. Perhaps to be more aggressive towards speaking. Aim is on me again. Being aggressive toward the Pokemon is gonna make you like it more. Who is Chris? She's the person she's one of the people from the the park, I think. Good evening! It's me. Will you wake? She keep all the Pokemon you capture in PC boxes, me, I just usually let them go. That reminds me, I recently let this hair cross go. That's kind of a waste, isn't it? Why would you catch a Pokemon just to let it go? I don't get that. This doesn't make any sense to me. That doesn't make any sense to me. I want to give someone that voice. I just haven't felt... Maybe Jasmine will get that voice. We'll see. I don't have Rock Smash, so I don't know if I can get farther in that place with the Rock Smash. In the distant past, when the star burned in a fire, three nameless Pokemon perished. There may be a huge Pokemon descended from the sky and somehow brought them back. People afraid of such power uh, as they've shown they try to control by force. This Pokemon made no attempt to fight back, that the great star compelled them to leave. The legend has been passed down. Me, I was trained way back when. Ho ho ho! Sure. You know, we have so many adamant Pokemon. That's crazy. Adamant and Jolly, we have so many of them. We have you, Jolly, which I don't understand why. Uh, you're quiet, and you probably should be Jolly or Adamant. With the moves you have. Lonely. Uh, we have Adamant there. We have Adamant, Jolly, Jolly, Adamant, Brave. We have so many attack-upping natures. But we don't have many special attacking Pokemon here either. Quagsire can be special. Obviously, Bolt is typically special. And I may end up bringing him back to the team if I end up need if I mean, basically, if Flaffy dies, it'll be replaced by pro by Taco or Bolt. Mainly because they're both um, special attacking electric types. And that's the one thing I'm like really low on is special attackers. Oh, it sucks so much. Alright, I think we'll get our encounter here at this drought. What's up? You get serious, you take a look around the wonders. Explore the burn. You really won't let me go and get in a freaking encounter? Yo, you suck. We'll hatch these two eggs and I think we'll end the episode. It's gonna be shorter than normal. But there's mainly, there's not a lot I wanna do in this episode because as I don't like to do so much back to back to back in episodes. I like to do make sure to do things in episodes, and which is funny because today we haven't done much of anything. 
Okay, so I did some organizing. I moved all of the eggs. I released all the Pokemon that we had swapped out for eggs, and I moved all the eggs into the boxes. So now we only have 18 left here in box in box 16, and uh, there are no eggs left in the death box. So that's nice. Uh, we're gonna swap out this uh, Magikarp and the Rattata for eggs. Let's see what we can get here. Um, something I was thinking about is I may end up using, where did I put it? Up here. The Nidoran. Because I'm pretty sure Nidoran, uh, Nidoqueen can learn Surf. Yeah, it can learn Surf. It can learn a bunch of cool special moves. So I was thinking that I could add this as a Pokemon and that it'd be, it'd be really nice to use. Um, because it gets Earth Power 43, actually. And it may have been made earlier by Drayana because I have no clue. But it gets Thunderbolt, it gets Thunder... A Shadow Ball, which we'll be getting after we hopefully defeat Morty. Uh, Ice Beam. It gets so many good moves. So I'm thinking I should add it at some point. Uh, if not, like, right now. Because it will get some sort of uh, ground move eventually. So it could even replace Rinka here. Not that I don't like Rinka. Rinka will be very nice for the gym because Scrappy. But, you know. It's a Kangaskhan compared to a Nidoqueen. Nidoqueen is a lot more type diversity and stuff. So anyways, we're going to swap out these level 20 Magikarp. And what is our number? It's going to be number 15. Okay. So 12, 13, 14, 15. Alright, so this is Dragon S. I swear that's another Kingdra. <laughs> Alright, what's, what's the next item? Not next item, next Pokemon. It's going to be Egg 22. So it's going to be you right here. Now what are you? Who knows? Okay. So this first egg, uh, I need to check and see. I'm pretty sure the Rattata is level 22. 20 as well, I should say. Rather than 22 because it's not 22. Alright, what is this Pokemon going to be? That's the fourth horsey. No, you're dupes. You're cool that you're shiny, but you're not gonna be shiny because it's very, very rare that you're gonna match with my se my secret ID. Again, with the same move set. It's like, come on, man. So many freaking. It, this one didn't even come with a dragon scale. It's a, oh my god, that's actually so cool. That is a Pokemon I have never used, and Rhydon is adorable. Okay, so what do I want to name? I'm gonna name you Earth uh, Land Shaker. No, not Land Shaker, Earth Shaker. Mainly because we have Land Walker already. We're gonna have to kind of crop his name a little bit because I can't fit the entire word. Who are you? No, I don't care about you. All right, Earth Shaker here is a quirky nature with magnitude rock slides towards the end's Ice Fang. Dude, I'm so excited. I actually love Rhydon. Rhydon is adorable. It's six gen sprite, makes it look so freaking cute. Like it's uh, whatever you call it. I don't know. Anyway. Number number four is the A we're gonna be actually getting this time. So who knows what you are, but you are dupes because of freaking horsies. I've gotten four horsies this entire is that four or five? Let's see. Because we have one that died, we have one in the box right now that is currently on the team technically. And then we've had two Ooh, is it Bip Lop? That's dope. That's so dope. What do I even name you, bro? Like, I want to name you Bubble, but you're not a man. Uh, you know, what? we'll do it. We'll do it. Uh, I think it works better for a for a female Pokemon. I told this story a couple times. I'll just do it lowercase this time. Um, where my first Pokemon that I ever bred for nature specifically was a Piplup. I bred it for a quiet nature, and I ended up naming it Bubble Wet. For whatever reason, I could not tell you, but it's a female Piplup with a modest nature, Hydro Pump, Aqua Ring, Agility, and Double Hit. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, you're going straight on the team. Um, as much as I love Horsey, we've already gotten four of them, and I would much rather use a Piplup than a Horsey. So I will take that from you. Uh, I, you, you will get used at some point, I guarantee it. Oh my gosh, dude, this... What I love about Eggbox is there's so many Pokemon I never get to use. A Farfetch, a Lucario I hardly ever get to use. A Flaffy, I mean I did use one, and that may be terms for like like dropping it off is because I've used one before in the last playthrough, which is funny enough. Anyways, that's really cool. Actually, I'm super excited to use Bubble Wet. Um, I will record the grinding, and depending how long it takes to grind it up, will depend if I end up 
uh, making it a grinding montage for the next episode. We'll see what happens. I should also double check and see what uh, his levels are. And the typical game, because I believe Drayano made him a little bit more, a little bit tougher. Um, <clears throat> so I may just get everyone up to level 27, just to be safe. And I'll probably let, I'll probably try to have the Piplup do most of its own battling. So I'll just like go back, and I can get my Pokeballs from Kurt while we're at it. So that'll be cool. So anyways, guys, so remember this is a really fun Joy Deluxe Mission. In the next episode, we'll be taking on Morty, most likely, and we might start our way onto Olivine City. We'll see what happens. Um, I don't know if we can go to uh, the right next, because I'll try to get some encounters over there if we're allowed to before we do stuff, but I know that we'll be able to keep up with our gym every other episode thing rather than doing so many at once, because... We have a decent amount of time before we can fight Chuck or Jasmine. And then there's an event that Dreano put in the game that we have to do as well. So, very cool stuff. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you all later.